So let's take a look at the specs for the 2025 TW200. Now, last year, Yamaha introduced a new colorway for the TW. They're calling it Raven, but it's more of a gray than it is a white. And the Yamaha logo is on the tank where they took the TW logo off last year and put it on the side covers. So you've got the TW200 decal on the black side cover. You have the black front fender. You have the black tail section. And then you've got the Raven color on the tank and also on the headlight nacelle. It's actually a really good looking bike. Much better, I think, in person than what you're going to see online. The specs for the TW200... You know, there's been rumors, oh, they're going to make it, you know, a bigger engine sizer. Oh, they're going to put fuel injection or, oh, they're going to do disc brakes on it, you know, and, and, and all these other things. But let's go over what Yamaha, what Yamaha has done with the TW. So you've got 196cc engine. You've got a Mikuni 28 millimeter carb. So all those who've wanted fuel injection, sorry, just not yet. It's still carbureted. And then you have a uh, CDI ignition a constant mesh five-speed clutch it's chain driven and you have a 1.8 gallon tank now yamaha estimates that the tw can get 78 miles a gallon i've seen it go a little more and i've seen it go a little less so depending on how you're riding depending on what mods or accessories you put on the bike that's really going to determine what your mileage is now for your suspension you've got 33 millimeter forks on the front end, which is going to give you 6.3 inches of travel. You've got a single shock on the rear, which is going to give you 5.9 inches of travel. Now, one thing that I really love about the TW is it has a 31.1 inch seat height. As an entry level bike, or even just as one, you know, to have in the garage, whether you're experienced, beginner, whatever, this is a really inviting bike to get onto because it does have that lower seat height. So shorter riders like myself, I'm five foot six. I have a 30 inch inseam and I can touch flat foot on the bike. My wife who's five foot four can touch on the bike as well. So it's really a great entry level bike. Now with a 31.1 inch seat height, you know, normally those entry level bikes, they're going to have really low uh, ground clearance. But with this one, you've got 10.4 inches of travel, or excuse me, 10.4 inches of ground clearance. I've had that bike in the rocks, in the dirt, in the sand, on the trails. I've had it all over the place, and it has been, I don't know, I, I love it. I absolutely love it. For your tires, let's talk a little bit about those. You've got a 138-80-18 on the front, which is a nice, big, wide tire. You've got a 180-80-14 on the rear. Now, if you're doing a little bit of homework and looking at the TW, you might see some folks out there who say that the stock front tire isn't all that great. Before you go and change it, I recommend putting some miles on there. Try it out with a different, you know, a couple different um, air pressure settings and see how it really feels for you. And then if you decide later on, like, okay, I want to get a different tire, you can go that route. There's quite a few to choose from for the front. There's not as many to choose from from the rear. The 130 80, 18, I mean, there's a whole bunch of like different dirt bike tires and stuff like that that you can get. I really like the 241, the Shinko 241. I do have the Shinko 244 that I'm going to be installing on my other TW, and then I'll be doing a few uh, comparisons with that as well. So if you haven't already, stay tuned because there's a lot more TW content to come. Now, on the front, your stopping power, let's talk about your brakes. You've got a 220 millimeter um, caliber, excuse me, rotor on there. You've got you know a disc brake on the front, but you have a 110 millimeter drum brake on the rear. So Honestly, with those, I, I've been pretty happy with them. If you're going to be doing a little bit more extreme and you want a disc brake for the rear, guess what? Bradley Performance makes one. I'll put a link in this video. I've got one on my 2021 TW, and they're great. They work well. They're easy to install. They look good. Don't let the brake on the back end, you know, kind of sway you from getting the TW, there are disc brake options available there. Another thing that I really like about the TW is the seat on there. I've done quite a few long trips on the bike, so like eight to 10 hour days on there. And after a little bit, yes, you do get a little bit uncomfortable. In all honesty, out of the entry level bikes that there are, I think the seat is pretty comfortable on there. And it does come with passenger foot pegs and you can take a passenger with you so it has almost a 400 pound carrying capacity the bike itself only weighs 278 honestly it's not that heavy of a bike my wife can pick it up if it falls over 
and it's you know it's really really welcoming in in that aspect it's not heavy you can carry folks with you so me and my wife ride around on the tw all over the place there's all sorts of options out there when you get your tw if you want to start changing things on it but right out of the gate it's great for taking a passenger just for putting around having a good time getting into the hills last thing let's talk about the price on the tw so right now msrp is 49.99 and that's going to vary, you know, I mean, the end price is going to vary wherever you're at. But the TW, pretty inexpensive and durable and, I mean, just a great bike for what you're, really for what you're paying. It's going to last a really long time and it's going to get you out into the hills just enjoying, you know, getting out on the motorcycling again. The other great thing about it is there are no massive electronics will on you know or even electrical stuff to deal with on the bike you've got an analog speedometer you've got an analog odometer or excuse me trip meter and then you've got your turn signals your horn and your lights and that's pretty much it so it's a real comfortable cockpit that you can jump into you know not really intimidating whatsoever i hope you found this video informative and you got some more insight on the tw200 i absolutely love this bike I've been riding them now for five years. I've got over 500 videos on the TW. So if there's any questions or comments, you know, you can put those down below. I will put a link to the TW 200 playlist in here. Also, if you get one and you want to come out to Utah next month, September 20th through the 22nd, we are going to be holding T-Dub Fest. We had a bunch of fun last year. We're going to be doing it again this year. And y'all are more than welcome to come out and ride with us. So that is the 2025 TW200. No major changes, you know, no frills, no gimmicks. What you see is what you get. This bike has been running pretty much almost identical since 1987 until now. So we've got a 38 year run of the TW200. I mean, this thing, if it ain't broke, don't try to fix it. You know what I mean? So anyways, I'm Matt. This is Mob Street. This is the 2025 TW200, and we will see you in the next one.